Okay, I think we are about ready. Yeah, I, I think we are. I don't see any issues. So let's get this started. So, last time I had to end early because uh, IRL stuff happened. So, and I couldn't set up a save state. I don't know why, I just couldn't find it. So we have to start the chapter over. I didn't count it as a death due to circumstances. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's take a look at the achievements that I've gone through already, right? So let's see. A lot of these are just, you know, beat the chapters, right? Chapter 9 through 12. You know, recruit Caster, Navarre, Mathis, Merrick, Wendell, Rickard... Bantu, Maria, Mer Minerva, George, Lind, Polycatria, Astrum, Zan. I did recruit Zane briefly. Hey, Franny, how's it going? Uh, we got the silver card, and we beat the thief. We got Partha, which I'm pretty sure this is progress, unless there's something I'm missing. And then win a fight in the arena. Uh, that's what we got so far. Let me close that. So, uh... There's one thing I notice about one of the achievements. I'm gonna copy the save file currently. And put it on put it there as well. Just to have a backup. Because this is one of those ones where there could be a missable one. Alright, let's try it again. Also, um, I don't know why, but it kind of seems like, uh, the bot's not here. Yeah, I don't know why that's not working. Um, so I'm just gonna have to keep track of how many depths there are and see if I can fix it later. I don't know why, it's probably just the computer being dumb. Alright. Again, I was doing fine. I was doing fine last time, more or less. All right. So, I needed Merrick right here. Merrick was the one that's going to take out uh, most of this. And Excalibur in hand. Alright. And we want an Ogma up here. Wait, hold on. Uh, Kane. Most of my units are heading this way. So the reason why I made a backup save was because with these two villages, there's a recruit from each of them, but you only get to choose one. So if I happen to beat this chapter and uh, only get the one achievement, I have the backup save just in so I can go back. You could go all the way here, I think. It's not hurting anything. Let's see. Uh, Caster, you can head that way? Is that a safe spot? I should double check. Is that a safe spot? Two away from Marth is the... So this is not safe. This is. Alright. This spot is safe. This is safe. We go this way. And Lena, you go here. That should be good. Lind goes this way. Alright. That should be good. But yeah, how's it going, Franny? How's it going? Yeah, 
I don't know why sometimes, like, some of the cabs move slower than others. Like, those ones lo moved way slower than the hunters. Kind of weird. But yeah, so, I'm having Marth going to get Zane. And then, after he recruits Zane, he needs to back out and go to the other village. Tired, but doing fine. Okay, yeah, I get it. Uh, I'm doing all right. Doing all right. I, I'd say not much is really going on. Uh, so on my own time, I've been playing Harvest Moon 64 with retro achievements, right? And I'm at the point where I'm at winter again, and the mines are open. So I decided, okay, let's try to get everything I need to do in the mines, so I can just get that done. One of the achievements is get to the fifth floor of the mines. It is so dumb that this achievement even exists, because how the mines work, I think you have a 10x10 10 10 grid, and you're supposed to use your, uh, use your hoe to to basically till the soil, and you're supposed to be lucky and find a hole in the ground to move on to another floor. It's literally just luck-based, because you have a time limit. It's, uh, it's so dumb. The farthest I've gone ever was floor four. It is so dumb. Marth with the Worm Slayer. There we go. Okay. But it's like, that's also not the only thing that I need to do in the mines. It's just that's the farthest I need to go in the mines. And I just need to get there once, but it's so dumb. It's literally luck-based. Just keep digging until you, you know, just find the lucky patches. Heal. Heal Merrick. So, like, I'm at a point now where if I'm like, eh, I got an hour to kill before I need to do something, I'll probably just work on that. But I actually started playing some Mario Baseball on GameCube. With achievements, of course. Because I've been moon to play GameCube. Is that it? That's it. how the difference in speed goes between those two classes. But yeah, Franny, have you gotten the opportunity to play some more genealogy? Or, uh, have you been busy? I think I had Sheeta do this. Attack of 15, defense of 3, but I double. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, there we go. We got rid of the thief, so now the villages are completely safe. should move over here for now. Abel should plug that. And I need my other units to head over there. Not yet. 
yet. Still in the hospital and probably be for a while, I see. You said you're, uh... Uh, you have a baby on the way, is that... Uh, do I remember that right? Okay, uh... If I remember correctly... Oh, right! I want Minerva to actually head down to the... to that guy. I forgot about that. Okay, so I think the plan is to have you stand here with thunder. Wait. And I'll open the door probably on the next turn. Of course I miss. And of course he attacks twice. Alright. See, look at the difference in speed. Look how quick that is, and then... Look how slow that is. There must be a setting or something. There's got to be a setting that I forgot to uh, switch. Okay. So, not only did Merrick miss, but he got hit twice. That's not good. All right. Minerva, you should head this way. Cheetah, you go up here. And it's time to get all my units up here. Luckily, I didn't need Caster to help with the dragoons, so he he's able to just head straight over here. Gonna block the bridges. We are gonna set one person here and one person here. I had like cane and bar type of block. So yeah, I need to have Minerva defeat this guy because he has physic. And that's annoying. Alright, um how do I wanna handle this? With the Killing Edge, it's the same attack power. So we're talking about 18 damage. Minus 11. You could just deal 10 to me. Luckily, I'm faster. So, Navar can double. Let's go for it. Got a crit. Alright. We'll see if that helps. I can't do anything else. Check something. Uh, is it in here? Yeah, it should be there. I don't know why it's not working. Yeah, you 
your healing. Yeah, okay. And Zane is just kind of here. Alright. You back out. And then we have Navar go ahead and attack again. Why didn't he attack me? I don't know why. Okay. So now, how much health do you have? You have six. If you attack with thunder. Seven, four. I only have four? Are you kidding me? If I were to attack with Excalibur, I'm already getting doubled. But if I hit, there's 10 damage. Alright. I just needed that KO. Weapon HP. And we got a Leaven Sword. Okay, that can go in there. Alright, Marth, go ahead, talk to Zane. Oh wow, I'm a chameleon person. I could transform into anyone. Thanks for recruiting me. If I remember correctly, in the original Famicom, uh, or the NES version. How he works is if you like he'll he'll copy your appearance and I believe your stats. But I think in the NES version he also copies what weapons you have. If I remember correctly. But I think they like didn't have that in every other version. I, I don't remember if that was how it worked. Where's your bridge? Right at the bridge. Alright. Kane! Is it time for you to... Yeah, it's time for you to get in range. No, well, probably fine. Let's go ahead and have... We'll have Agma block. Lind. Uh, Sheeta. Stand there, I guess. Castor. Hey, we'll go over here. Alright. Minerva. Go down here. And that's it. That's actually a good thing. Never mind, Mars dead. All right. And um, this ain't working. Uh, yeah, that's not working. So I'm just gonna have to keep in mind there was one death. Gonna have to keep that in mind. You know, Zane may just not attack me at all. And if that's the case, then I don't need to have Marth rush in. Right. Let's try that again. Let's see. Merrick? Kinda do the same turn one. Go here. Bar. Lena. Cheetah. Kane. 
I'll have her here, and then next turn, she'll head down here. That was a mistake. Mistakes were just made. Although, it's not as big of a deal. Because it is caster. Alright. Mistakes were made, but we'll be fine. Gary, it's been a while. How's it going? What's going on? Right now, just playing some Fire Emblem 3. Book 1. We are currently on chapter... Wait, what chapter is this? Like 12 or 13? I forget what the... There, they cut like five chapters. <laughs> Okay, cast or dodge, that's good. You're a soul rock. Yeah, uh, I think because this is your first time here, or at least first time here since I've added the, the st stream avatars, it just randomly picks you one, so. Yeah. It's, it's cool, that's why I like having it. And also, it actually shows that you are indeed here. So if something cool happens, then it will. Sh then on screen, you'll see that you are indeed here. You can change your uh, what you want to be if you. I think you just need to scroll down. There should be a stream avatars like tab thing. It should allow you to change if you want to. If you want to. Actually, there's other things we can do with the stream avatars. Stream avatars. Does, this, does this work? Because... Let's see if it, this works. Is it... Is it going? It is going! That is something... At least that still works. I keep forgetting I could do this. So Mark needs healing. Oh, hey, look, the mod's back in now. Or the mod bot. I think I can set the depths back up. This way. Cain and Abel. Hey, Gary, you win. Alright. Since all the flyers are gone, we have Minerva go after this. I keep forgetting I can do that. Keep forgetting I can do that. But now that the Streamlabs mod is back, hold on. I should be able to do. There we go! Now that's fixed. I don't know why it wasn't there. But because it wasn't there, I couldn't update the death counter. What's left? Yeah, I totaled 30 deaths so far. The, I think it was the previous chapter. It, like, costed a lot of deaths. Let's see. Here we go. 
Have you played FE3 before, Gary? Oh, I see a problem with the strategy. Maybe I should have waited an extra turn. At least Minerva is distracting uh, the Cavs for an extra turn. Because now they've turned around. <laughs> We must protect the healer at all costs! Our precious healer! Except the thief, he doesn't care. Sheeta, you go ahead and get rid of the thief. Sheeta took some damage. Whatever shall I do? But yeah, what, what, what have you been up to, Gary? What have you been up to lately? There. At least this group has another turn to make it. Now that I know that they're going to be after Minerva, I think Minerva needs to back out and get out of the way. Okay. Uh, your rank, Rider's Bane, so stand here. Two. I need to go, like, right here, just to play it safe. <laughs> yeah. There, Minerva's completely safe. We could get rid of this guy probably next turn or so. Alright. Uh, for some reason, he didn't attack me. So what I think I'll do is I'll just have... Okay. Let's have Julian just open this up. Navar. And we're gonna go with the Killing Edge. Gotta go for those crits. could have waited a little bit longer. Yeah, I could have waited a bit and get rid of him first. Oh well. You know what, I'm gonna let Merrick stand here and get the full heal. By the way, Gary, I am playing with Retro Achievements. It's a, a basically a fan thing where they people add achievements to old games. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm not necessarily going for all of it. Just more or less seeing what I can do as I play. But we'll see. Maybe I'll change my mind. Yeah, um, it's kind of, like, if you're an achievement hunter of any sort, it's kind of fun to add these into old games, because why not? It gives something else to do. But sometimes the achievements can be a little dumb sometimes, but, yeah. Uh, I I've seen some of them be a little bit ridiculous. Like, it's usually, part of it is usually the sheer amount of achievements that they usually give. Like, for this game, 
particular. Uh, there's 112 achievements. <laughs> Got rid of the healer. Should I go get yourself healed? Usually, it's uh, uh usually with retro achievements, it's uh, they have a lot of achievements for a game sometimes, especially for RPGs. I already know that if Marth goes in... What's your attack speed? Attack speed of 11. No matter what, Marth gets done. Heal Navar. Merrick. Let's try that. Oh, that guy moves. I didn't even... Okay. I didn't even think about that. Well, it's a writer's bane. I'm not too worried. Uh, yeah, with, um, Metro Achievements, you know what? I'm gonna grab my account, copy and paste it. Hey, he, he went after Navar. That's actually really good. There we go. Get him out of here. Now let's hope Zane doesn't do anything dumb. You know what? I'm gonna post my, uh, achievements if you want to look we got a hero's crest and zane hopefully doesn't do anything but yeah um if you play a lot of rpgs there's usually like a lot of achievements for those like i completed dragon quest 8 and there's 208 achievements for that game it's a little much a little much. I, but I did it. I got them all for <laughs> for uh, that game. It took two playthroughs for me to do, but it could have all been done in one if I did a little bit differently. Luckily, Zane just doesn't actually fight. That helps. I'm gonna transform into someone else on your team. Hope that's useful. Too bad I can't copy weapons anymore. At least I'm pretty sure I don't. You know what? Let's test it out. Uh, let's have him transform into someone actually useful. Like Navar. Copies the level too. But okay. But yeah, he doesn't yeah, he just keeps whatever weapons he already has. 
But I think it's the exact same stats. More or less, I think. Void of 31, crit of 10, crit... Well, that's because of the match. Attack speed... Yeah, I think it's act just same stats. He just doesn't copy weapons or anything. Alright, Julian. Um, he can open a door, but... Do I want him to? Okay. So, Marth for sure is heading back up here so we can get to here. Minerva's done. She got the healer out. Agma? Go here. Lena can go here. Caster. gonna head over here. Do I even want to head through this way at all? Because honestly, this is not a bad bottleneck spot. Hmm. Well, if I do decide to go through this way, it's really just so I can get Merrick a little bit closer so he can start dealing with you know, these two. And maybe... You know what? I think Lena needs to start heading back. Julian will have to stay down here. And we might... We might keep them far down here? Yeah, we might keep Navarre down here. I'm gonna open the door, it's gonna be a little bit later. I think it'll probably be best to open the door once uh, these three calves make it all the way up here and they can start fighting. Start fighting Kane. Because once that's the case, uh, then the other calves will be too far away to even want to turn around, I think. So we'll have Marth and Lena start heading that way. Merrick, Julian, and I guess Navarre is going to hang out over here. Although I'm not even 100% sure about the bar. Although. Zane, I don't know. You have this way. Alright. Marth needs to save one of the villages. Probably the one that's farther away. Now, uh, I think I'll... Is there arena here? Because if there is, I might actually use it, because I did see an achievement. Um... Where is it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I did see an achievement. Yep, we, we should actually use that. 
Because why not? Sane. And Lana. Or Lena. Everyone there is fine. The cabs are moving. Navar, you still need more healing. I think everyone else is fine. Be distracted. You will not realize that I have an ambush party ready to, ready to go after the general. As soon as you're too distracted. Take Navarro a little bit. Oh, how long does the transformation last? Is it like an all chapter thing? All of you can stay. Calves are moving. Give huh, Navarre's a fully heal, never mind. Right, you know what, Marth? You should probably equip something other than the Wound Slayer. Alright. Kane, you're right here. Lena, get yourself in a safe spot. there. I think we're gonna wait one more turn, and then we'll go open the door. That gives them just a little bit closer. Now give Merrick and Navar time to get to the boss. See, this is what happens when you don't prepare for the ambush party, or you don't have door keys. We're a thief. In some ways, this kind of worked out better. Because now, if someone's in danger, of being at low health, I have Lena to heal. Okay, Kane. I don't think he's in range of that last one. Yeah, I figured. Alright. Kane should be healed. Yes. Kane, go ahead and probably back up onto a fort. Not that it matters, because I'm just going to have Lena heal. Perfect. Now. Uh, what do you have? You have a silver lance. Able? 
perfect. So they can't really make it, can you? No. I don't really want to bring him over. So we'll do that. Who's left? Time to open the door. Navar and Merrick. Here, everyone seems to be okay. We can do this. Yes, go after Abel. Do it. I keep thinking that's like a crit move. We lucked out there. Luckily, Abel was fast enough. So now Abel really needs some healing. Okay. Yeah, they're not going to turn around. You're going after Zane. Oh. Well, luckily I had him turn into Navar. That worked out. That worked out. Okay. Uh, you back up. What's your range? Oh, wow. Okay. Um. Someone needs to grab a KO. And that someone is going to be Lind. Yeah. Alright, Lind. You got this. Thunder? Probably thunder. No, not thunder. Wow, okay. Um let's see. Attack of twenty. Attack speed of five. Yes, yes, this should be fine. Go caster! Yeah, that's better. Perfect. Alright. Kane, or no, Abel, you back out and heal. Kane, you go right ahead and stand here. Uh, let's see. Just in case, first, you stand here that way. Just in case reinforcements show up. I forgot to heal Kane. Okay, is anyone else in range of Mark? I don't think so. Yeah, they're all too far away. Marth, you can go ahead and grab the KO. Steel for 14 attack. Yeah, you have 2 HP. Perfect. And Marth! Is that a level? Please tell me. Yay! Level 9. Strength and speed! Exactly what he needs! Marth, you need more strength. You are weak. Okay. You head over here. Also head this way. Julian. Actually, I might. Uh, I could have him buy things with the silver card, so. <laughs> we might do that. Everyone else? Just gonna wait. Reinforcements have arrived at the. F oh no, at that floor. Okay. That's gonna need to be plugged. Hopefully, Kane can take Ogma as well. Ogma can tank, that's for sure. You're going after Caster, which that's a mistake. It's going fine, Hot Corn Dog. Uh, we only have a single death today. And. Oh, wow. Ah, Caster, you just need, like, one more point in strength. Yeah, we only have one death today so far. It's going alright. It's going alright. 
How's it going on your end? That's being attacked, but he's too strong. Look at that. Look at that attack power. Yeah, what's been going on your on your end? What's been going on? Dodges. He gets a crit. Was he Navar? I mean, with a 15 crit chance, you know, I guess it doesn't matter. Maybe Agma needs the killing edge. He has a javelin. That's actually rather sad. All right, hold on. Down here, I don't know how how many more there are actually going to be. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna use the steel. Okay, 19 attack, seven defense. That's 12. Yeah, Navar should be fine. Man, imagine if this game had the weapon triangle. That would change things. Level 12, strength, skill, luck, and HP. You know what? I bet those reinforcements showed up because I got close. Yeah, it's possible. Second down. Alright. Over here. We just have four units. Caster can go ahead and get the KO here. Uh, none of that. None of that. Caster skin skill. Kane, you're at. You're pretty good on health. On these two. Okay, Mark. You go in and get the KO. 15 attack, some defense. That is. Uh. 8? Nope, not enough. Not enough. Agma, can you grab the KO? Oh, Zani uh, went back to normal. I just noticed that. So, it la Zani lasts for a few turns then. I don't plan to use Zane, but hey, if you really want a, like a second Navar, you could totally do that. Kane, okay. is this what I want? It might not be what I want. Hold on. What do you have? Right? Oh, you have a Rider's Bane. Let's get that. Caught that. We're probably gonna want someone like Barst. movement. Okay. Kane? You go right ahead. And we got the crit, which honestly he needed. He needed that crit. Level 13. Skill, luck, weapon level, and HP. Now we have Barst go here. And with his axe, we're playing a lot of Dark Souls 2. Uh, if I'm correct, you were playing that before the the DLC for Elden Ring came out, right? Okay. Can Sheeta actually grab the KO? Attack of 15. Yeah, actually. Mm hmm. She could totally grab the KO. Go, Sheeta! Get that EXP! With the crit, no less. Alright. Let's go ahead and heal up Abel. Level 
level 16 for Lena. Strength and weapon went up. Alright. Zane can now do this. Zane, can you transform into Marth? Now we'll have a duplicate Marth. Who, which Marth is the real one? Which Marth is the real Marth? No one knows. Ah, the one without the fire emblem. Um, set you here for now. Is that it? That's it. All right. More reinforcements. Right there. I saw that. That's bad. That's bad. And he went after Lena? I mean, go after the healer, I guess, but... That was a mistake on your end, actually. That was not smart of you. You were an archer. You could have gone after my flyers, like Minerva. But no, you decided, let's go after the healer, who can tank your hit. Okay, attack speed of six. Not enough to KO. Attack speed of four. Uh, if I use Excalibur, I can, but... Honestly, I think Merrick might just need Hellfire. He just doesn't have the... Actually, well, the power of magic doesn't go up with uh, levels or anything. It's just resistance. And Navar is strong enough to just use a steel sword. He doesn't need armor slayer. What? I, sh I think I have Elfire in Mars inventory. I should definitely grab it. Okay. Um, Kane. Can you get this one out of here? Okay, you can weaken. That's fine. I can give the KO to Sheeta. I think I just need the iron. Yeah, the iron's fine. Get out of here! Perfect. Level 8, speed and weapon went up. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get this place uh, plugged up. Heal Kane. Lena also needs healing, so she needs to stay on the fort. There. No reinforcements from that end for now. And Marth, you go right ahead. And we get... I am Eren. I used to work as the captain of a knight's group. However, for certain reasons, I now reside here. I am very happy to be able to serve you. But this village and its neighboring village haven't gone on well, gone on well for a long time. Once they know that your highness has visited this village, they will close their village's gates. You should give up thinking of trying to recruit Samson. Well, we got Eren, who is a paladin, who I won't use, but hey, another Silver Lance, I guess. Yeah, this is one of those missable achievements. Because I got Eren, I can't get Samson. Luckily, I copied the save file. So if I want to quickly... I could probably quickly go and get Samson. Like on the other save. That's something I can probably do. So let's see. Uh, I need to, I need to use the arena. I might send Mark there, but I might have Agma Barst 
go there too. Lind? Nah, maybe not. Actually, I might have Minerva go and do it. He just randomly started playing too, specifically Solar. Oh, uh, okay. Just kind of felt like playing Dark Souls 2, I see. Um, yeah, let's just leave everyone there. There should be new reinforcements. Ah, uh, yes, another Armor Knight. Navar just gets the crit. I mean, I'll take it. I'm fine with that. He doesn't have. Okay, Lena's getting her heal up. Let's see. There's currently an ad playing, but if I don't... Oh, there's not, not really missing much, are you? Can Merrick... And, no, Merrick can't make it here. So... Yeah, yeah, you, you know what, we'll do that. Uh, he was able to move, like... Which one five? Five, two, four, five. If I stand there... Merrick's getting attacked. Dang it. Guard. You need to stay here. Kane, you're at full health. You can keep moving. I might throw you in the arena. Marth, you go ahead and head out. Just on the last couple enemies, we're dealing with a little bit of reinforcements. Not much, though. Actually, what is 18? Caster, go ahead and stand here. I'm gonna let Minerva head down. And we're gonna have Zane go here. Alright. Might as well heal up Caster. Stay. And left. Just okay. That's fine. Egad. Reinf no reinforcements. Really? No reinforcements. That can't be it. There has to be more. This is Fire Emblem. There's usually more reinforcements than that. I don't trust this game. <laughs> Yes, I can set you here right now. Actually, we can have you go in the arena right now. Alright. No, let's try to have a lower number. Uh, way a uh, nope. That is not a good one. Uh, yeah, nope. Kind of like, I don't know, 800 range? Not that high. I saw an achievement where it said D beat the arena three times in the same chapter. But it didn't say to use the same unit. It just said win three times. So that's a good thing. We could do that. That's easy. 
Well, I'm gonna say easy. Uh, I had like a 900 at this point. I might need to go for it. Yeah, okay. Level three. Deal five damage to me. I can survive this. Yeah, I'm gonna survive this. He has no chance to crit. Oh, and I dodged. That helps. Interesting on who attacks first is a little different. Remember this level 4, we got skill, luck, weapon level, and HP. Got a little extra gold. I don't think Caster is going to be useful. Lena is at full health. What well, Lind might... Well, Lind could actually be useful. So let's go ahead and do this. And... You can't move. So Lena, you go ahead and start moving. And Sheeta can stay right here. Perfect. Who's left? Alright, Merrick. Let's get you closer. More reinforcements! You're standing in a spot where if Merrick survives... And he will? Oh, lucky dodge. And a lucky crit. Finding out that Dark Souls 2 has two. There are two fan bases for Dark Souls 2? What does that mean? Like, how's that work? Where are these two fan bases? If I'm correct, Dark Souls 2 doesn't have a remake of any sort, so it's not like a uh, original versus remake type of split. Might as well heal Minerva. So let's bring you over here. That way I can get Lena to heal. Okay, perfect. keeping Julian right here. Someone else needs to plug that for it. Someone's gonna pop, pop up from there. You never know. And that's someone. No, it could be anyone. Alright. Do that Minerva. You could go into the arena again. What do we got? Uh, nope. Nope. Somewhere in, like, the 900s, please. But yeah, uh, on my own time, I was playing Harvest Moon 64, right? Oh, uh, yes and no. Scholar of the First Sin is kind of a remake, kind of not. How does that work? Anyway, um, yeah, I was playing Harvest Moon 64 on my own time, right? I'm at the point where I'm at winter again. So the mines are open. And I'm wanting to uh, try to get as much as I can out of the mines. 
and uh, one of the achievements for it is get to level, f get to the fifth floor of the mines. Sadly, this is all just luck. Because how the mines work is you're on a five, you're on a ten by ten grid, I believe. Uh, six damage. Six damage. Yeah, six damage. This is going good. So yeah, you're on like a ten by ten, ten, ten by ten grid, and you just need to use your hoe to till the, basically till the soil, and you're just trying to find a hole in the ground to, that lets you go to the next floor. Sadly, it is luck, just whether or not you find it, and you have a time limit. Perfect. So, it's all about just resetting my saves, just to see if I can, you know, get the lucky, uh, you know, you know, get to the fifth floor. And that's not, like, the only thing I need to do. That's just one of the things I need to do in the mines. There's also, like, I need to find a weather vane. That's on floor three, I believe. And also there's, like, a power nut somewhere in the mines, which I think it's just random whether you get it or not. And that increases your max stamina, so that's, that's really useful. Is that it? That's it. So it's just like, great, I'm, sp I'm spending a lot of time just resetting my saves. Minerva, you go right here. You heal her up. So now it's just one of those cases where I got an hour to kill. Let's just try the mines for a bit. But I don't want to really do more than that because it's so tedious. And I'm just hoping to get, like, one, at least one of the things. Could be the mine, it, it could be the weather vane, could be the power nut, or get to the fifth floor. I don't care which, I just want one of them right now. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's just luck. It is literally, it is all just luck based. So when I decide not to play Harvest Moon, I've been playing Mario Baseball on GameCube. Because why not? I don't see myself streaming baseball unless it's like a one-off thing. So the first sin was sold as Dark Souls Prepare to Die. In which it adds the DLCs in which the game has all the patches to, them to make the game smoother. So Skyward the Force First Sin is basically just Dark Souls 2, uh, like, Definitive Edition, basically. Or Game of the Year. Basically just has everything all on it. But they fixed the game up a little bit, okay? So what, do some of the patches just, uh, make some glitches not work anymore or something? Is that what's happening? Minerva. Nope, I'm looking for a 900. somewhere in the 900s. There we go. We'll take it. Over four. Okay. He can deal six damage to me. This will probably go about the same as last time. We'll come close. attacking first. I think I'll get him next turn, so I think I will win. I don't think that I have a chance of losing. 
Can't miss. And we got the crit. Good. Minerva, you win. We got to level 5. Skill, luck, weapon level. There we go. We got that little achievement right there. That was easy. Alright. Almost done with the chapter. And we'll have them all wait for a second. Alright. I'm gonna have Julian start heading to the towns. Agma, you go ahead and get yourself healed. Alright. I'll go ahead and get Navar. Right here, so he can start fighting. Cain and Abel. Head up. Barst. Marth. Man, it would be kind of nice if we could give Marth the kill. That would be nice. It's too bad he's too weak to do anything. Marth almost needs stuff like armor slayers and killing edges and worm slayers just to do anything. Like, he, he is just that weak. damage. Let's go for it. Or actually, no, that's not wrong. You could deal eight. You could deal eight damage. Totally worth it, I swear. Not enough to level. I mean, it's something. Alright, Navar, Armor Slayer. Wait, what's your... 30 minus 17... too good. Level 15, skill, luck, and HP. Let's just make sure these are blocked. Barst. Marth. Julian. No, not yet. Let's have Minerva right here for a second. I meant to heal, not wait. I hate that wait is the first command. Alright, that should be good. Now all that's left is the boss. That's all that's left. Let's heal. I do have a spare heal staff in storage. I might just buy one anyway, though, with Julian. Okay, you go over here. Oh, oh. It changes a lot from the original. The control, they go from fluid control to eight directions? What? Really? Okay, they added enemies in places where they were before, so they kind of make the game either harder, or if not harder, then just slightly more annoying. Uh, adding statues to block paths. Why? Oh, wait a minute, hold on. We 
Merrick, I want you to check the supply. Uh, first of all, let's store the fire. Let's take... Hellfire. There we go. This is power by four, speed by five, HP by seven, luck by five. Magic defense by three, skill by five. Skill by five. Okay. Yeah, Merrick needs something stronger. Oh, none of that. That's the second one today. We don't have those on here. No, just adding for bots. No advertising for few bots, I guess. Ogma, you, you can just stay there. It's not really anything. They also made more NPCs and they made the DLC more connected to the base game. At least that's interesting. Uh, I didn't. I don't think I read, read the rest. Uh, statues that blocks the pass. You need to free them with a rare, expensive item. Moving around item placements, okay. More responsive enemies. They have further aggro range if they see an ally get hurt than most, if not all, enemies know that you're present. Oh, that's annoying. That, okay, so that makes the game harder. That is for sure. It's kind of a weird mishmash of, like, I can see why someone would like it, but I can also see why someone would hate it. Okay, no, not this. Okay, what do we got? Yeah, I'm gonna buy another heal staff. And you know what? I think I'm gonna buy an Elfire and give that to Lind. That way she just has a stronger magic attack. Now I'll check the weapon shop next turn. Fire. Can you actually do something? So you have 10 attack, uh, 2 attack speed, so we don't have enough to double, 6 crit, okay, accuracy is over, so 10 attack power. We could deal 7 damage to this guy. That's nothing. That is just nothing does have a killer lance, so I almost want to attack him from the range. But if I'm going to attack him from range, I, I, I think I want to wait. I think I want to wait for Lind. Because I don't want to risk that killer. They added more upgrade drops. Okay. Add more friendly NPCs. Just helped you get through an area and left when you got close to the boss frog. I've seen that before in Dark Souls game or even Elden Ring. That's kind of weird. Actually adding helpful NPCs. Maybe they just knew that how hard the game they made it. How much harder they made the game. So they're just like, ah, let's get let's throw you a bone. Silver Sword, Javelin, Killer Lance, Silver Lance, Silver Bow. I 
don't think I actually need any of these. I've been pretty good on, like, not using these up. So, I think we're done here. I think Julian's done here. He can start heading out. Uh... Alright. Let's see. If Navar went up here with his Armor Slayer for an attack of 30, we're talking about an attack of 12. Yeah, I'm gonna want to wait. I will definitely want to wait. Anyone else attack? Nope. Alright. Right now, just gonna... Wait for wind? Maybe even give, give her an L fire, although she could probably use aura and be okay. Alright, Lind. Not yet. Alright. Still waiting, so I think that's good. Almost done with this chapter. And I made a backup copy of this chapter so I could get Samson. All right, Lind. With Aura, with an attack of 22, we can't double, but we deal 19 damage. We could, however, use Thunder with an attack of eight and only deal five damage. We deal way more damage with a single attack with Aura. He can't fight back. If we could just weaken him enough, we can maybe hit him with the Armor Slayer. Altia's fallen soldiers still live? As long as I'm here, I won't let you enter this castle. break easier, but that's Dark Souls 2 overall. Wait, Dark Souls 2 has weapon durability? Is that the only one that has it, or do all Dark Souls games have weapon durability? Uh, oh, no, it was Hellfire. That's why. Alright, let's weaken him. Oh, we got the crit! Merrick got the crit. Hold on, that changes things. Level 9. Skill, luck, weapon level. Okay. So he has 2 HP. If Marth goes in... If Marth goes in for the rapier, 22. Minus 18. That is like, what, 4 HP? What is my accuracy? 100? Marth, go ahead. There we go. Go, Marth. He finally gets another KO. He had to be baby to get it, but he got it. You see that? Look at that. That was so close. General Camus, I leave the rest to you. They all have weapon durability, but Dark Souls 2 makes it matter the most. Oh, no. That's not annoying at all. You know what? I'll have you go down here. I'll have you trade the heal staff over. There we go. Alright. Uh, I think we're good. Marth. I almost want to throw you in the arena. <laughs> to get you level 10, but eh, you can get that KO some other time. It's not a big deal. Lind, can we get you the... No, not this here. Not here. Alright, let's go clear it. Soldiers of Altia and the warriors that have fought alongside us, I'm truly grateful to you all. Thanks to your efforts, we have finally reclaimed our homeland of Altia. 
from the hands of Deluna. But there, there are probably many enemies waiting for us inside the castle. Everybody, don't be careless. There we go. Save the game. Uh, question. Do we want to redo the chapter on the other save and get Samson just to get the achievement? Or do we want to just move on and do that a little bit later? Uh, there's going to be an ad playing here in a sec. I'm going to go refill my water when that happens. So... Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna refill my water. Be right back. Fifteen seconds on the ad. It was slightly more annoying in Dark Souls 1. You can only fix weapons, armor, shields by repairing it and bonfires or using a blacksmith. Dark Souls 2 cuts out the middleman and you can get your durability back. Once you best have a bonfire. So just going to a bonfire re re uh, refills your durability. You don't have to actually fix them directly. That's... That's, uh, that's not bad. That's not... It basically means that between each bonfire, each of your weapons more or less has a time limit. Um, okay. Do we go... Do... You know what? Let's go ahead and recruit Sans... Samson right now. I'm going to reset. We already made the save. Let's just get it done. Start chapter. We want chapter. We want this one. And since it's the first village, we don't need to do that much. We just need to get him recruited, and that gets the achievement, and that's it. It's easy. This is easy. Once I get the achievement, that's it. We can reset. So I still want to get rid of some of the uh, units, or some of the dragoons. Bark and sand here. I, I want caster over here. And you know what? I'll have barst here as well. Marth. We're just gonna grab Samson very quick. It shouldn't take that long. As soon as we enter this village, that's all that we, that's required. And you know what I can do? If I have Minerva go attack the healer, then what happens is the Cavs will want to back out and try to go after Minerva. 
meaning, uh, hey, it protects Marth a little bit longer. Every time you kill someone or hit something, your weapon degrades, of course. If your weapon breaks, you must go to a blacksmith to repair it. Doing crits or hitting enemies, but losses head cost less than the ability to protect you. Right. So, you still need to repair it if it actually breaks. But if you actually, uh, if you manage to get to a bonfire before it actually breaks, then you don't need to bother. It just fully repairs the du durability, correct? Gets rid of all the flyers. Luckily, all the game cares about is getting recruited. It doesn't matter if you keep them to the end of the chapter. There's a lot more bonfires in two than in one. Okay. Unlike one, where you need to be at mid game to teleport to a select few bonfires. You can teleport each bonfire of these. Hmm. So, Dark Souls 1, you don't get the fast travel option until mid-game, huh? Oh yeah, I could totally distract them. Minerva! Go after the healer! Distract the calves! Cows will turn around and be like, no, our healer! Alright. I think Marth will probably need two turns. Because I don't think he's going to get there on this turn. Or 35 bonfires in one. Only 12 you could teleport to, really. In later games, isn't it just like any bonfire you find is a teleport spot? Is there something different about the bonfires? Are the fires like blue or something to indicate that they are teleportable? <laughs> Back out. Oh, here we go. I am Samson. I used to be a famous gladiator. However, for certain reasons, I now reside here. I am very happy to be able to serve you. But this village and its neighboring village have been gone on well for a long time. Once they know that your highness has visited this village, they will close their village's gate. You 
should give up thinking of trying to recruit Aaron. And we got Samson. He is a hero with the silver sword. So, I guess here's the question. Do you want... Okay. I guess there's like two questions here. Do you want a hero or a paladin? Or do you not care about that? So do you want the silver sword? Or do you want the... It was like the silver lance and the javelin. I don't know. But yeah, anyway. We got Samson. Uh... I think we got the... We did get the corresponding achievement to it. I'm gonna double check. Uh, yes. It's right here. Here, let me, uh... Pull that up. See? Uh, here's Samson. Here's Aaron. Here's Ane. It's all good. Alright. That didn't take that much time. That wasn't that bad. Getting to Samson is actually not that hard. It's just, you gotta defeat the thief to get to Eren, and that might be a little bit tougher, depending on your units. But anyway, let's go ahead and actually go with chapter 14. After defeating Holstad... Holstads? After defeating Holstein's knights, the allied army swiftly conquered the whole of Altea. All that remains is Altea Castle, guarded by the mage dragon, Morzaz Man. Morzaz substituted General Camus as the commander of the occupation army, and was a ruthless man, guilty of killing numerous people. That dreaded Morzaz once again appeared before Marth. Once again. Did we meet him before? I don't remember this. Oh, look at that treasure trove. Look at that. And there's so many thieves. Man, I wish I had my warp staff for that. But look at this right here. It's guarded by a sniper and a hero. You gotta get past some generals. There's a dragon here. Mage. Okay, what do we got? Swarm. I don't remember that magic spell. You just go to a bonfire, click the warp button, and it'll tell you which one you want to touch. Right. Morzaz. He has a mage stone that it seems like he can't even use? Wait, how can he even attack? The first half of the game is so well connected and linear enough that you won't have too much trouble walking through places. Oh. It's only annoying when you have to farm for stuff. But just for a point, you're going that bad. Okay, okay. So wait, how can he even attack? He has a mage stone, but he's also a dragon? But he can't use it. Weird. Javelins, silver bow. There's a vi VIP card. We need to get that VIP card. And you know what that means. There must be a uh, secret shop here. Ma maybe right there? There's a door there for no reason. Something tells me there's a secret shop. All right. Who can I have? Cain, Abel, mm, no horses though. Ogma, Bars, Caster, Navar, Lena, Julian, Minerva. She can't fight though. Unless I give her a sword. Lind, Merrick, Sheeta. Uh, okay, well, let's do some trading. Julian, you need to trade over the Hellfire to Lind. 
we go. Uh, let's see. Merrick. Let's discard this thunder. And... Let's grab a new one. Oh, he can use Thoron! I didn't realize that. Second half of the other hand, not that great. Unfortunately, rush. So certain places feel shorter than expected, longer than expected, or just rush. Hmm. Let's see. I could bench Minerva. And bring Bantu in. I might do that, actually. And you know what? Doesn't someone have a silver bow? Back and take. Steel, silver, there it is. There, George, give your silver bow. That way, Caster has a new weapon to use. Let's see. Uh, we're fine there. You have a spare heal. Julian's fine. Minerva, you know what? I may bench her. Bring Bantu in, even though I can't work. Six, five, and it's not much different. Honestly, without your dragon, let's make a save. And let's go. <laughs> Marth, so you return to die. I am Emperor Medeza's right-hand man, Morzaz of the Basilisk. A pity, though, that you've returned so late. Your mother, Melissa, already died by my hands. And your sister, Princess Elise, is now in Garnef's possession. <laughs> Regret? For you cannot defeat me! turned into a mage dur uh, durgan. Okay, we're already in the castle. It's fire breath. Having a dragon with me is actually a pretty good idea to weaken him. But wait, he's considered a mage dragon, not a, not a fire one, though. So I don't know if ice actually works against him. I need to get rid of these two before going after him. Uh, let's see. But there's a lot of treasure chests over here. Okay. Sniper. We can lure the sniper. Okay. Your attack is 18. You have an attack speed of 6. Attacks me six. I have to use the iron bow so I don't get doubled. Lena, you need to be able to heal him. Okay. I think. Well, Martha's gonna head over here. I guess mages. I got a dragon. You know what? Uh, like, I'm not worried about anyone over here. These two are not gonna run away. Although they can, but they're not. Right? They're not gonna run away. Uh. Well, like. Am I really, like. Am I really this worried about what's going on over here? Like, who, who could I send? Who could I send? Navar can handle it. Oh, he needs to give Ogma. Well, it's not like I'm gonna promote. You know what? I could open the door, and I could have Navar be able to f take out the two Armor Knights. And I can let Bantu transform and start dealing with this guy, possibly. So 
something like that in the Varkin. Maybe he also go after him. I don't know. Uh, I could also have Lind over here help out against Swarm. Okay. I think I should have Agma over here. Someone needs to deal with this hero. Uh, Barst. Honestly, I don't see Kane or Abel actually being used. They're not as good when they're not on their horse. I'll leave it there. Oh, uh, if I'm gonna open the door, I'm gonna do it next turn. Alright. So yeah, was um, Dark Souls 1 just... Did it have a tough development cycle or something? Oh, Swarm has that much range. Well, I dodged. I lucked out there, but... Let's see. Yeah, I gotta get rid of you. Twelve damage. Castor took 12, and the heroes are already on the move. So the dragon next turn. The thieves are going to be distracted for a little bit, but I will have to rush over there. If I attack and then heal, that wouldn't be the worst idea. And then I can have Agma and Barst up here. There's that. Uh, let's do this. Yes, 23. Nine. That is not enough. You need to attack with the iron. Too bad I don't have a dancer. This would have been a great time to use it. Okay. Now, we will have Lena go and heal him. I see a reset. Um, that's a reset. Uh, Marth, can you maybe distract? What weapon do you have equipped? Well, it gives you more evasion. Nothing, but the rapier gives attack speed, so... We'll... Oh, mistakes were made. Also, how... Oh, wow. That's a lot of uses of Swarm. Something needs to be done about that. Okay. You know what? I'll just have... I'm just gonna have Julian go ahead and armor slayer this guy. Not Julian. Navar. My bad. And just hope it goes well for me. I mean... Caster's gonna die anyway. Because I was dumb and I misclicked. First off, the game was apparently doing fine, but due to deadlines, the head developer was losing faith about the game near the end. They were able to release the game on time. It was glitchy, mess on launch, frames drop, curse effect stack, meaning your HP could go down to one max HP. Oh no. Oh, uh, that, that's annoying. You know what? Let's transform into a dragon. Did well. The team didn't learn about the sales until after a year of the game coming out. Why? Why did they... Why... 
Why did it take that long for them to find out? And you head out here. Alright. Watch Caster die. In real time. Oh, reinforcements! There they are. That's what it's for. Wait. No. Okay, you're attacking Julian, which... He has the HP to survive. That's good to know. I didn't know he could cross that. I did not know he could cross that. That makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. Okay. Oh, stop teasing. We already know. And there's my hopes for Marth distracting ca uh, the sniper. Why don't I just... There it is. Mistakes were made. Trolls. Mistakes were made. Let me see how the rest of the turn goes. Oh, wow. Look at that. This stupid crit. Barst is also dead, but I'm not counting that because, you know, the reset counted for, uh, the reset counts for, uh, caster. I, I know how I could change that. That's not that bad. Not that bad of a change. So... Uh, Bars got hit by a crit. And Ogma should be fine. Yeah, Ogma's fine. So that's it. Okay, the thieves. Alright, that, sh that, that should be fine. We kind of have an idea. So Julian can survive a swarm. And uh, I wasn't prepared for the the sniper to move. And I forgot to heal Caster because weight is the first option. Why is weight the first option? Right, hold on. All right, we are going to trade. I had Heroes Crest over to Ogma. There we go. Now we save. Let's go. And yes, he's transforming into a Durgan. Actually, make sure you heal Caster this time. Mark, you could just hang on this time. Alright. I think I should have. No. Bontu, you need to go over here. I think it might be better for Bontu to stand right here and then transform into a dragon. That might be better. That way he's not being attacked by all of these guys. Navarre can handle that. 
And he may not be attacked by Swarm anyway. So I think that'll all work out. Let's try that. Marth has a Worm Slayer, and Merrick has Blizzard, so we should be able to deal with the dragon. Castor with the crit! He was so mad. Castor was so mad about what happened last attempt. The head developer wanted to stop at Dark Souls 1 and make a new game, which was Bloodborne. Okay, makes sense. Two was eventually greenlit with a bunch of Dark Souls 1 devs, but due to development hell, head developers leaving. Through three head developers. The game was kind of all over the place. Eventually, it did sell well, but veterans of Dark Souls 1 were kind of turned off by the amount of that game's Only being much less reliable. Hmm. We'll just have to add the ads plane. And we got ad plane. So let's see. Swarm wasn't used. That's a good sign. I'm thinking Bantu should go here. Oh, we're even here. Well, I, I want to get rid of this guy. Get rid of him unless we get rid of these fools. Hmm. Well, distracting the sniper here would actually probably be good enough. Hmm. Well, Og Monkey go here. Barst will go here this time. Okay, ad's done. We put Barst in a better position where he will only get attacked by one character other than the mage. Granted, it depends if he gets the crit or not. Caster, go right ahead. Give yourself the, the win. You deserve it. Okay. Castor. What, how much is... Yeah, okay, so you just need a heal. Heal. There we go. Lena up another level, level 17, skill, luck, and HP. Merrick can go right here. Okay. Over here. So, I was thinking of having Bond to attack these two, but he can't transform an attack in the same turn. So we're going to do this. That way he can at least attack the sniper. Maybe. Might have Lin do that. Dark Souls 3, head developer from 1 and Bloodborne came back. And people say he didn't like Dark Souls 2, but he often praises Dark Souls 2 since it opens spaces and allows different builds. Yeah, so Dark Souls 2 had a big development hell, based on what I, based on what you said. Because, mainly because they didn't expect that particular game to get a sequel. Um, 
honestly, Cain and Abel should probably just hang out here. We are not gonna open this up just yet. Let's just end it. So the director came back for three. Okay. Is two the only one he skipped? Because he, he said he did one in Bloodborne, and he came back for three. So did, was he also there for Elden Ring? Oh, you have gotta be kidding me. He gets hit by a crit. He doesn't have a volume there, right? Granted, that side is not... I'm not worried about it. Caster, level 16. Strength, speed, weapon level, and HP. Another mage. At least Bantu survived. Are you kidding me? Right, luckily, that's the last mage over there. He had to do Bloodborne due to contract. Don't know if he would have done it too. But if he did, he couldn't do it to the contract. So he might not have even done to uh, uh, Dark Souls 2, even if he wanted to, due to contractual ob obligations. But was he involved in Elder Ring? which Barst will survive. Yeah, thank you, Barst. If, luckily he did not get hit by crit this time. That made a difference. Okay. Now the thieves are gonna start running away. I need to block their path. What is your range? You're not moving. Okay. So... Five. I gotta be careful. What is your... Is it 20? If we did this, that's not enough to KO. Even if I could attack twice. I get a crit. I could have used that on the other guy. Okay. And so was the last head to help with two. They commissioned George R. R. Martin for the framework of Elden Ring. Yeah, I know that. And they built the sword from there. So really, he only missed one game. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and have you mend first. Yes, there we go. Okay. Next. I'm gonna get attacked twice anyway. I could deal 15 damage. I can have Ogma block the path for thieves. And he will not get attacked by the dragon. So that's a good thing. Is that what I wanna do? Marth? Can you. I mean, he can attack twice, but we're talking about a total of 20 damage. Not enough to KO. Okay. I got 
play this carefully. Of course, I should have it closer. Mm. Alright. Barst, I really, really need you to do this. out. So, I would need to move Agma to be able to have Caster safely attack, but attack of 21, he can totally get the KO, but with how low health he has, I am worried about the mage. But here's what I'm thinking. Marth with the rapier. Attack a 12. Um. Okay, um. Thief is gonna have to. We're gonna have to deal with the thief a little later. That just sucks. What's your attack speed? Zero. Marth, are you able to defeat this guy? With the steel. 15 damage. 12. Attack speed is... Yes. Okay. Good dodge. And you got a crit. Thanks, Marth. Thank you. Could have used that last time, but or on the first hit, but whatever. Strength, speed, weapon level, resistance. Thank you, Marth. That's a good level. All right. Okay, now we got a different problem. We're gonna be dealing with the dragon, but we also gotta stop these thieves. Where are they gonna be running to? Actually, that's a good question. Where are they gonna run to? Are they trying to get all the way over here? Actually, they might be just trying to get over here, which would require them to probably go through this exit. Right? I don't know. I don't know where they're going. Okay. Over here. Bantu. Uh, we need to just target one of them. Start getting rid of them. Okay. Lint. If you used Aura with an attack speed of 4, you will get doubled and deal 19 damage, but you will get doubled. That will not be good. How much HP do you have? 22. Yeah. We can't afford to get doubled. But if we go with... Of fire, we will not get doubled. So that's not bad. We will not get doubled. We'll do that. Okay. Let's try it. Reinforcements seem to show up when the door is opened. Yep. Okay. Damage. Now 
That didn't do much. Yeah, we gotta stop him. Okay, Merrick, what is your range? Okay, we gotta do something about this dragon. Okay, Merrick, you can get close. Go ahead and equip your blizzard. What is your attack? 20. You know what? Mark could survive. So can Agma. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna have to set Marth right here. That way we start getting rid of these guys. Not enough to double. Alright, but Marth's fine. I want him out of the range of the dragon. fine. We stop. We get to stop uh, the rest of the thieves. Let's go ahead and heal. Heal Agma. I want him at full health. Okay. Just in case. Agma? Ah, uh, you can't reach. That sucks. Okay. Caster, um... Start heading back. Kane and Abel, you head this way. I don't know which way the thief is going. That's part of the problem. Over here, Lind, uh... I just realized something. Oh, I sense a death. Come on, Lind, can you actually get the KO? With an attack of 22, 19, not enough. Not enough. You need to basically fully heal yourself. And the volume area is not going to be enough. You would need another one. Come on. We can make this work. I do not want Bantu to attack. I don't want that. No, it's not yet. Oh, this, this plane ain't gonna work as well as I thought. Wait, who's he healing? Dang it! My plan is failing. And you're attacking Agma, makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Oh, we dodged. He's going to the left. Oh, Merrick can go and hit him. But he can't... He can't kill him anyway. Unless I use Excalibur. You know what, though? It might be worth it. This is weird. Just get rid of the thief right now. Wait, I thought my... Oh, no, never mind. That was dumb. Okay. 
Okay, well, Lena. Do this. Because we're gonna heal Caster. Defense of 12. You know what? Marth, go ahead and go for the attack. With the crit. We'll take it. Alright. I would rather have uh, Marth get these. But Hogma needs to do this. That was not, that didn't really go as planned, but I made it work. I made it work. An Orion's Bolt? Okay. Well, I only have the one sniper, so that's not really needed. Another Volinary. Uh, you need to stay. What a, what a waste of a Dragonstone. That was definitely a waste. Alright. So that's good. And now we can let Marth go ahead and have this all to himself. What do we get? Level 11 strength, speed, weapon level, and HP. Perfect. in range, not yet. So here. Alright, well, uh, that was a waste. That was a huge waste of time. I had a plan, and it didn't really work out. see what's happening. Okay. This is the same thing again where Caster just kind of needs to uh... So, attack of 21. That's a 9. 22. Defense of 6. Your attack speed is seven. Attack speed six. Yeah, this is just a case where we need to do the same thing again. We're just gonna wait. Lena, 
to go ahead and heal. Open the door just yet. Because I don't want the sniper to get distracted yet. The breeding system is weird. Uh, there was four blacksmiths in one, and depending on your build, one will be more appealing than the others. What does that mean? And hey, look, there's another warp staff. I knew we were going to get one. I knew we were going to get another one. Um, I don't think I want Mark to attack, actually. Let's be a seven, yeah. He can't double. He's not going to KO. You know what? I think I'm just going to wait. Because the thieves are not going to attack him. I'll keep Ogma in here. He'll cast her first. Okay. This is just kind of annoying. So... If you went and attacked this guy... I only attack once. That's okay. Okay. That works. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Wind stand here. I'm also gonna have Marth attack. And hopefully... That will distract one of the bishops. We'll see. Blacksmith, most players find is Nandor. He was the one you'll go for generic weapons if you give them embers. Uh, he could take any weapon you got to plus 15, which is max for generic weapons. Then there's. Crystallized weapons and turns boss souls into weapons. Prison blacksmith that chain chart that's in charge of magic weapons. Oh, okay. I think I. Okay. Um... So there's four blacksmiths that do four different things, and depending on your build, it really doesn't matter which ones you get. Well, there's certain ones that are more appealing than others. So here's what I'm kind of hoping. We only have two healers here. And we're going to see who they're going to focus on. Maybe they're going to focus on the sniper. Maybe they'll heal the thief. Or maybe they're just going to heal this guy. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. He 
either way, Lind gets to attack. And of course he dodges. That just makes this more annoying. There was no healing involved. That's interesting. Let's get rid of the thief. Devil sword and a warp staff. There's some storage. So I had stu uh, and I had just finished playing. Um, so I I killed the bishop here with Caster, and obviously the sniper went after him. S interestingly, he didn't go to. Oh, does physic only work from range? Yeah, that's right. So he couldn't heal this guy. I can get the KO right now. I think. Yes, that's my accuracy. I'm going for it. There we go. Go Castor. Level 18. Speed, defense, and HP. Uh, Lena can go ahead and heal Castor. I'm realizing something. So it says that she heals for 10 HP. And that's what the heal staff does. But... Obviously, more gets healed based on her stats, and I think it's actually based on her strength stat. Because she healed 19 HP. Oh, strength, strength and weapon. I think it's based on her strength, because she now has 10 strength. She had 9. So, you know, obviously 9 plus 10 is 19. So, I think her strength stat actually affects how much she heals. It's kind of weird... But that's what happens when you don't have a magic stat. Honestly, I thought it would be resistance. But resistance doesn't seem to, like, ever want to get boosted. Kind of weird. Uh, first. Bring it closer. Eric. We got a dragon to fight. You're soon. Marth. Soon. But he's fine right now. Agma is here for backup, just in case. Or by backup, I mean just. Uh, all right. Okay. I'll let Marth go ahead and get the. Yeah, Dark Souls 3, one of the blacksmiths, makes a return, but he kind of learns how to do all of it. 
There's the giant blacksmith with three. And he's just a corpse with a crystal ember in hand. And Marth got an extra point in strength. That's and res. Ooh, that's good. We got a door key. We got a secret book. And a worm slayer. Another worm slayer. That could go to like Navarre or Ogma. Secret book. Worm slayer. There we go. One more thief left. And you said the giant makes the crystallized weapons. Okay. So he, uh, that one died between games, huh? Okay. I'm gonna let Lena go ahead and heal Bantu. Because that was a waste, but, you know. So now she should heal 20 HP. But, he, you know, he... We, uh, only 16 was needed. Oh, I can't double? 29 minus 6. Oh, I can't KO anyway, so let's just use the iron. Alright. So... Swarm has too many uses. Too many uses to work on. Fire Breath. Honestly, Bantu might be good against him, but we're definitely going to want American Wind for the dragon. Although, Mage Dragon is not the same thing as a Fire Dragon. Actually, I'm not sure, but I, I want to get rid of this guy. Um, we'll hold off. Good. get the KO, and he desperately needs healing. <laughs> but luckily the thief doesn't want to fight. Okay. Master? The iron? We got the KO. There we go. We got rid of both healers. Bow help. VIP card, and that will go to Julian. Next turn. Team. I think we're kind of good on HP. I might heal first. Alright. Julian. Open the door. Navar. Oh, not close enough. Go ahead and heal Barst, I guess. Just before you get to the air. Oh, really? Before you get there, Pontiff Sylvain helping Andre to the power to get Gwendolyn and start eating him. When you get to the area to fight Aldrich, he's in the process of eating Gwendolyn. Without Gwendolyn, we would allow Black the blacksmith that's served to the gods to Oh, so it just, like, just happened. Okay. Enforcements. Wonder how long that's gonna last, but they have to move around. If you're attacking Julian, that's fine. He can survive this hit. And dodge too, that worked out. Oh, you fool! Now if this guy wants to attack Navarre, he has to get up close. 
dream starts just after all the cool stuff happens. Oh no, you can't even be a part of the cool stuff. You have to be the problem solver. All the cool stuff happens, now you just gotta clean up the mess. the KO. Not even that, you're just a problem. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, Marth. There we go. We got gold. We got the Knight's Crest. Totally worth it. What are these guys have? Steel? Steel? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Navar. Go ahead. Get rid of the javelin guy. Okay. If Bars were to... This guy's not going to move, if I know that much. The question is, who's he? I think he's going to go after Julian again. And he has an attack of 11. Honestly, Julian's fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Caster go here. Let's go ahead and give Julian the VIP card. I would like Navarre to, like, head over here and start dealing with these guys, but I may... The problem is, if I have him go this way, he has an attack of 18. If I have him stand here, he will get attacked, and he has exactly that much health. And I can't heal him. Not yet. Honestly, having Julian be bait is not a bad idea. Dark Souls 1, you just kill leaders of nations. Just to make the first flame last another thousand years. Kill a demon queen who was only one able to produce demons in mass scale. Kill death and disrupting the process of giving dead people passage to the afterlife. Says, Jesus, that's fine. So honestly, like, honestly, getting rid of death seemed to be like the the biggest issue because getting rid of uh, the demon queen didn't seem like that bad of a didn't seem that bad. Good four times. Four kings who were sealed away to stop a mysterious power from affecting the world. The world would have been destroyed. Hmm. But honestly, uh, taking out the Demon Queen didn't seem like the worst idea. Barst, what can you do? With the steel in hand, you can double, you can deal a total of. 26 minus 4 is 22. Oh, damn it. Okay. I can double. I'd rather have the better accuracy. I could get the KO. 11 damage if I get hit. That leads me down to 20. He has an attack of 18. And he can attack from range. Yes. So, honestly, if Bars gets hit both times... What's my attack speed? Seven? Okay. 
Bart has the HP to survive. Oh, and because it's a ranged attack. Right. He couldn't fight back. Level 13. Strength, speed, weapon level, defense, and HP. Thank you, Barst. There we go. Now all that's left is the dragon. Well, and the reinforcements, of course. Seal Navarre. Julian, I mean, you'll need to get healed. Then I want both my mages. The demons weren't evil. They were just called demons, but they're just different species. Oh, okay. That's a long time to do. Demons would have been fine once the flame ended. Mm -hmm. And we go up once they found out your character and many others. Hmm. But it sounds like getting rid of... So, really, you just need to get rid of the kings. The four kings, right? That's all that you really need to do. Bantu could maybe help... Maybe. He is a Durgan. More reinforcements! One's an archer! Oh no. Merrick. <laughs> Stupid humans. I will show you feet to fear us mage dragons. Deal with the archers. Oh, I didn't realize Excalibur was equipped. Well, that's a waste. He tried all the dragons to make himself immortal. Oh, okay. I can see why. I can see why you want to get out, get rid of him. Magma, here, Navarre, go here, Julian, you haven't been healed yet, Merrick, I, I guess you need healing, Caster, you go ahead and stand here, deal with archers along the way, that is not for me, okay, let's heal you. Well, uh, Linda's getting that 2 HP heal. <clears throat> she, she really needed it. I hate that I could target characters that have full HP. I know she wasn't at full, but I'm still allowed to do that. Lind, if you attack with Blizzard, I don't even know if it's 20 damage. And even then, it's not enough. Aura. 22 damage. And we're only talking two. We're only talking two damage. Linda can't do anything. And I'm pretty sure... He is not a fire dragon. He is a mage dragon. So... Ice doesn't work on him. Probably gonna have to use the Worm Slayer. I can't leave. Once you prove your strength, the flood is open. You're allowed to face the four kings. And to clear the flood, you have to get rid of the other guys you mentioned, like Seath and uh, the uh, Demon Queen. Is that right? 
Power is level 16, speed and max HP. Okay. Okay, good. Navarre, you dodged. They just open the dam and the, uh, and the water levels. Oh, okay. So it doesn't even matter. <clears throat> Castor, that crit would have been useful in the first hit, but whatever. Turns the reinforcements are going to show up. Castor, thank you! You listened to my advice! And he gets a level for it. Level 19, strength, speed, weapon level, and HP. Castor is starting to become one of my better characters, and he's not even promoted. Dark Souls 1, you're told a tale, a lie. Uh, a chosen undead will succeed. The Lord God Gwen and Light, the first flame, and breathe in another thousand years of peace. Oh, so you trying to light the flame, that's what you're trying to do, but it, because it was all a lie, uh, you just kind of mess, mess up everything. Okay. I'm gonna need another armor slayer. Julian, like I was supposed to. Okay. Julian, you head over here. Where's Agna? You also have our armor slayer. So that, yeah, we're having him go that way. Merrick, let's just double check. If you were to use Blizzard, you'd deal 19 damage even if, if he was a fire dragon. But he is not, and this isn't an ice dragon, this is a mage dragon. gonna be a bit before we target him. Strength, speed, weapon level, resistance, and HP. I think this is bad. Navar, you need to dodge. You have to dodge. Of course he didn't dodge. That's a reset. We were doing so good, too. are doing so well. That's a reset. Okay, reset game. 
All right. <clears throat> That's annoying. I think I have enough time for one more attempt. Okay. So one thing I'm going to change. Uh, I'm going to have Bontu work on getting one of the healers. That way he's not being targeted by the sniper. And... Physic is the one from far away. Physic's the one that only works from far away. Fortify is the one that works close by. So I'm going to have Bantu transform into a Durgan. Due to the first flame being extended, humans would not be able to get to the age. Said they would have been turned into monsters, so it's kind of catch I didn't need Navarre to the left, and with a better with better planning, I can not probably make this work. Lindell, just get out of the way. Same thing with Sheeta, get out of the way. Ah, uh, Castor, you were doing so well. That sucks. That just sucks. I just had Navarre get too close. Alright. We need to head this way. Forms, that's fine. Thieves grab their stuff. So this is the one that heals from far away. And this is the one that heals right there. Okay. That's gonna start here in a minute, but that's fine. Uh, Caster, if you were to attack, you won't get a KO. 18 minus 6. Oh. Alright, uh, Caster could go ahead and attack. And get a crit. I'll take that. Piece together the, the way of light, main religion. Started the undead curse and they accidentally lost it. It's like ten, ten minutes, so it affects people. Hmm. Okay. First, let's go ahead and equip the steel. That way you deal more damage. Uh -huh. stand here. Lena, go ahead and heal. Caster carrying his way exactly. 
And he's not even a... He's not even a hunter. He's not even a hunter yet. Speed and luck. Not even a hunter. And he's already carrying his weight in a lot of ways. I want Bantu to go after this one and start weakening him. Others can wait where they are. Just leave it there. Yeah, the mage is going after Caster. Perfect. HP. Uh, must continue the Age of Fire as we can. We can start. Whenever a phase the, continue, the curse continues to affect uh, people who already have the curse don't lose their die. When the fire rekindles, it just stops affecting people. Mm -hmm. After Agma, probably didn't get want to get hit by the steel. The hero didn't go after Barst this time. Probably because Barst had the Steel Axe equipped and he didn't want to get hit for more damage. That is my guess. Uh, yeah. Slightly different. The events of Dark Souls 2, different nations are trying to find a cure to the Undead Curse with no avail. So Barst can get rid of him. I can also have Merrick do it. If Caster were to attack... 20 minus 11. It's 9. Do I have the attack speed? I do not. What if I went with this? 27 minus 11. That's 16. That's still not enough. Everyone is like, undead except for royals. Get rid of this guy. What am I getting rid of the hero guy? What if I instead 27 damage on the hero? And get a crit. Castor car carrying his weight. Castor just being a champ. Alright. Let's see how I want to do this. Marth, how much damage can you deal to this guy? 22 minus 12 is 10. Your character in 3 doesn't have a curse. Instead, you are unkindled. Unkindled, is that basically undead? Dang it, Marth. You were supposed to get attack. Okay. Barst. Go ahead and attack this guy. Okay. 
There we go. That's how you're supposed to do it, Harst. Perfect. Level 13, strength, speed, weapon, defense, and HP. Now, I can actually have Merrick attack this guy with 5. my attack speed, too? Eh, or not. I'm gonna have Ogma go block this path. I'm gonna let Merrick stand here. I'm safe. There we go. Castor needs healing. Now, next turn, Castor is going to start heading this way. And we are going to get this guy. You are undead by the sense that you died trying to rekindle the flame but failed. Hmm. However, you are not affected by the undead curse since you were revived by the first flame, not the undead curse. You can get the curse of flame, but to get it, you gotta die like a ton of times. I talked to this one dude. There's your three levels based on how many times you died and slowly give you the curse. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, you can start heading back. Oh my god, thank you, Bantu! That's exactly what was needed! Bantu, you're carrying weight! Now Castor doesn't need to rush over there. Not yet, anyway. That helps. I'm surprised he didn't go after Marth. Kinda surprised. Granted, he probably he wouldn't have survived if he went after Marth. Okay. Your attack is 20. You need healing. Marth? You use the steel. 12. I can one hit KO him with the Worm Slayer. Kind of a waste of a Worm Slayer, but Marth won't even need to bother getting get KO. Him, so, yeah. I'll take it. Even then, you can get rid of the curse by talking to your fire keeper. Put your eyes back, she'll have the ability to take it away. Normally, it's. So much going on. In Heal staff broke. Merrick can go ahead and we can let him get attacked. We're gonna equip the lizard. Castor can start heading back this way. Uh, we can give this KO to Castor instead of Bond 2. It's not, not gonna hurt anything. There we go. Bantu's done his job. He's done more than what I expected out of him. Uh, I don't think we'll need Barst, but I will want him healed. Okay. And 
generic dodges. Okay. No one wants to rekindle the flame, so I'll just it revives that unkilled the ones. So So the flame no the fire keeper keeper summons unkindled to revive the flame. Is that right? Can I get this KO to mark? 37. Yep. Marth, you need more levels. There we go. Level 11, you got, str you got a point in strength. That's that that's a good level in my book. Alright, um, Merrick? I know you're not going to be that useful, so I think what I'll do is I'm going to have Ogma back out. Merrick is going to currently guard... Might, might as well attack one of them. It's not gonna hurt anything. Okay. Let's go heal Barst. There we go. We're doing good. We're doing good. It was a good idea that I gave him the silver bow. Is that it? Looks like it. Okay. American head neck head over here. Marth? Let's just equip the steel for now. I'm gonna wait, because the other guy has fortify. I wanna wait a second. Firekeepers are the ones who take care of the bonfires. The first one revive the unkindled. Oh, okay. Okay. The flame the first flame itself created a being that's unkindled to help light other flames. There's a lot to consider with the lore of Dark Souls, especially when you haven't played any of them. Probably make more sense if you actually play them. Bother having Marth attack. Caster. Start getting rid of this guy. Strength, speed, and HP. Sadly, he wasn't getting his strength boost from his levels, so I have to use a steel bow to take it uh, to get rid of him. I think he got worse levels this round. Right, we're, going away. we're not gonna let Marth attack yet. We're gonna wait for getting rid of the bishop. I need to go and use a steel bow. Iron's not going to be enough. There we go. Perfect. Now we get the VIP card. 
All right. Let's get this started. New door. Wait. Navar, go in. Just go straight for the attack. It brought them back to the Kindle itself. <laughs> The prince was supposed to sacrifice himself, however, he was being taught by his magic tutor to reject the flame while he was growing up, so by the time he was set to set himself on fire. In some ways, I'm, I, I am kind of having trouble following along about what's going on in Dark Souls. Again, it probably would make more sense when I eventually I actually play them. Go ahead and start attacking. Now that they can't get healed. Alright. We should be good. Now that caster is in range of an archer, I should keep that in mind. And if I force strong souls to sacrifice themselves by getting stronger, all four also say no, since the either one matter really don't like the burning the first time. It's just like no, I don't, I don't, I didn't like it the first time. I don't want to do that again. That was dumb. Why would I do that again? swap to iron next time. Alright. Marth, you go right ahead and continue fighting. I want him to deal I want him to deal with the archer right away. So I'm just gonna have him go here. That way next turn he could go here. Okay, Julian, he did get hit. Navar, you need to go after this guy. can actually start heading this way. Okay. Barst, you have full health. So if we attack with the iron... Brings back the unkindled ones. Warriors from the past who failed to kindle the first time. One of the unkindled ones will go out. Kill the four souls. And the prince, and they kindled the first flame. Mm -hmm. So, the flame wants to be rekindled. But, the ones that were supposed to rekindle uh, decided, no, setting myself on fire is stupid. So, the first flame creates a beam, the unkindled, to go and get rid of the ones that were supposed to set themselves on fire. Going up here. Bars will survive, he has the HP. Is that it? That's it. We got a lot of reinforcements. 
one didn't show up for some reason. Yes, I'm a mage dragon. I'm better than those normal fire dragons. You can't beat me. Yeah, for some reason one of those armor knights didn't show up. I wonder why. I didn't re- oh well. It's fine. And you get the crit. Guess I created un the unkindled? There's also, there's many unkindled, not just you. Hmm. I mean, it could have made other un unkindled. Right? Or can something else create unkindled? Can a different flame? But I don't... But I think there's only one flame, right? So... Okay. It's just like, hmm... The previous ones I created haven't seemed to... Done, haven't seemed to have uh, rekindled me. Dump and do the job. So I'm going to create a new one and see if we can win by numbers. Right here, Navar, you could you could use a heal, but you'll be fine, honestly. For a second, Let's heal caster. There's only one flame, you find other enkindled, and they have quests that don't relate to the frame. Huh? Hmm. You're the only one actually working towards the flame. So, to me it sounds like the first flame that created you created these other enkindled because what other explanation is there? Um, so either the un uh, either the flame told the other enkindled to do a different job, or along the way, the unkindled are like, you know what? I don't want to do this. I'm going to do something else. <laughs> Those are the only explanations I could think of. And then every time one of the... If it is that the, the flame told him, hey, rekindled me. And then the other unkindled, right now I'm done. The flame's just like, oh... You're not gonna do what I say? Fine, I'll create a new one. <laughs> Speed and luck. Dang it. No attack, Marth. Honestly, last session, last round did way better. Okay. Let's just let me wait. Flip the iron, because why not? I'm gonna let the bar get healed. So that way he could swap out Agma when needed. Level 18, just got a weapon level. Ugh. I like the levels on my last attempt better. I always send Barst up there too. 
He may not have an uh, uh, armor slayer of any sort, but he has the HP and just the raw power to tank when needed. Yeah, we're getting weird no reinforcement numbers. That's weird. Like, it's not consistent. I mean, I'll take it. Speed, defense, and HP for Agma. Gets attacked again. Okay. Agma is also going to want some healing. You're not really dodging. But that crit is helping you. Okay. Mark, you go ahead and do your thing. We'll probably have to Volanary soon. can actually use a heal. But, okay, wait a minute. If he were to get attacked... Attack of 17... 6? Okay, I'll let Ogma get attacked. One more. Okay, Lena, you go ahead and... the weight command is the first option. I really do. And how long are these guys going to pop in? You know what? You know, because it's based on when you open the door, it's got to be an amount of turns. got to be based on a certain amount of turns. Kind of curious. Artia. Okay, here we are. Okay, Castor already needs healing. The uh, reinforcements, let's see. I'm reading 10 turns. But I, uh, I don't know. Okay. Marth, go ahead, do your thing. I'm reading 10 turns, but I, I don't know if that's 100% correct. We got gold, we got the Knight's Crest. Okay. Right. Staff, heal. can wait. Agma, you need to back out and heal. Navar. Yep, okay. 
Master is fine. He's at a 19. Actually, I kind of want to check my achievement very quick. Okay, it says nothing about... Because I, I, I was glancing it through at some of the achievements, right? And some of them are basically like... Oh, no, oh. Right, they add. I think I'll wait. I'll wait a second. Oh, yeah, Navarre is level 16. Strength, speed, weapon, resistance. HP and weapon. You should be fine. Caster is fine for another turn. seconds. Marth won't get the kill, but he'll be fine. We'll let him attack. Alright. Ads back. So what I was saying is uh, I was checking the achievements and I saw that some of the promotion ones say you need to be mounted. So, like, if I wanted to promote Sheeta, she needs to be mounted before I even attempt to promote her. I don't know why, but that, that's the case. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. So, I, I just checked Hunter, and it doesn't seem like that it has that problem. But I almost don't want to risk it. <laughs> Navarre is fine. Honestly, because there's not that many. I guess I'm here. He could get attacked by two. I'm gonna need to have Agma go back up, but he'll be fine. Okay. Martha already attacked. Agma got healed, so we can send him up. Alright. More reinforcements. Weapon level resistance and HP. Castor. You could use some healing. Let's see. Alright, you're doing fine. Grab your KO. There, Marf's done. Now we can start heading back. 
And now he's level 13. Speed, luck, defense. And that's it. And we got the warp sap. Good. Sadly, honestly, I think his levels last time were better because he got, I think he got a little bit more uh, attack in there. Um, yeah. I could go ahead and let Agma stand here. Either they don't care anymore or they find out the truth and don't want to keep the Age of Gods continuing playing all the gods already left. Okay. So yeah, and then the flame finds out that the ones they already it already summoned are like not wanting to do it anymore. So it'll be like, fine, I'll create a new one. See what I care. I could just cre cre keep creating more of these guys. Okay. Castor's fine now. Ogma's fine. Navar needs healing next turn. We need to do something about the dragon, but I don't know what to do. Okay, good, we dodged. through a lot of my armor slayers. Strength, speed, weapon level, and HP. Kill the prince, use purple prince's brother, and the four souls. You could just straight up end the first flame by summoning the fire keeper. But she puts it out and be like, nah, I'm not gonna actually follow your orders. It's just like you betrayed me! How dare you! Martha already moved. Agma is basically at full. Okay. More reinforcements. How long will this last? I should check what turn it is. Again, I was reading 10 turns, but I'm not sure if that's still the case. I mean, reinforcements have to end at some point. But that's fine, I guess. There's a single armor guy. I think Agma can take it. Castor can deal with another archer. And there's. Caster's level 20, skill and HP. Who'd think that Caster would be the first one to promote? I did not think it would be Caster. I honestly thought it would have been like Agma or Navar. Or Kane or Abel, I guess. Uh. Agma could go ahead and wait. Navar is fine. Let's heal up Barst. 
He's been needing a heal for a while. There we go. He's been waiting patiently. And I think it's time for our first promotion. Let's hope this doesn't mess up with the achievement. <laughs> Skill plus two, defense plus two, and we got more movement. The achievement did not proc. He probably needed to be mounted. Oh well, that's dumb. I am not gonna reset for that. <laughs> I am not resetting for that, that's stupid. I had a feeling that might happen, but there was nothing saying that wouldn't be the case. Because it says, like, for the Pegasus Flyers and the Cavaliers, they need to be mounted. But it doesn't say that for uh, uh, Archers to Hunters. Let me double check. Promote a Hunter to a Horseman. That's all it says. It doesn't say anything about being mounted. Oh, actually, I'm going to check something. I go ahead and check. Ah, uh, I should have checked the comments on this one. Don't promote on indoor map where you normally can't be mounted. I should have read that. I could have read that first. I could have saved myself the trouble. Oh well, I'm not gonna be worried. I'm not worried about it. Agma, honestly, you should probably back up. Another archer didn't make it. First, you go up here. Go far. Go right here. Let's go ahead and heal Agma. One of them doesn't even have an achievement, really. That's kind of strange. If you're, if you're going to make achievements and you have four different endings, and there's achievements tied to each ending, why not have them all tied to it? Whatever. That's kind of dumb. So we could just leave Navarre there. And Castor being a promotion. Okay, Castor is going to be healing. There we go. Now he could start gaining levels. Wow! A it seems like a promoted unit doesn't really have a problem with uh, lack of EXP. Because Castor seemed to get a decent amount of the XP from that. Everything's no amount. 
says he's a hunter. But he is a horseman based on the promotion, so it's not, that's not a glitch, right? Okay, Marth, you go over here. We're gonna need healing. Alright. Another archer. How many? How many more turns? Oh no! Another, ad, another bot viewer ad thing. None of that. Bars level 18. Strength, speed, and HP. Slayer blew up, broke. Okay. And you punch the fire creeper before the ending scene comes up, in which you see her on the floor and you take the point from her and you keep it for yourself. Oh no, I'm too far away now. Castor is just gonna have to deal with the. Yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with it. Then I go ahead and heal Mark. We already basically need another heal staff. What's your attack speed? His attack speed is 8. 38 minus 15. Definitely more than, uh... That would be 23. That's enough to KO. I think Marth can do this. I think he could do this. Oh, his accuracy is the best now. And he dodged. I lucked out. And he got the crit. Thank you, Marth. Who needs to deal with magic dragons when you have a worm slayer? You got a speed ring. You did well. Gets Lord Medeus. Okay. Are we done up here? We have a broken sword. We only have a couple more armor slayers. Honestly, send Barston. Sucks I kind of wasted their Ryan's bolts and or at least on the achievement part of it On the achievement side, but I'm not gonna reset just for that There's still book two I think so we'll be okay there Ah, You're going back to Castor. That's good. And there's no other reinforcements probably because we beat the boss or that was just the right amount of turns I'm not sure let Barst have it. Yeah, 
Boris is kind of falling behind on levels. Well, I'm gonna throw stuff in supply. You don't need that or that. Let's see, what can you what can we take out? Let's see. Heal staff. Physic, powering, no. Another Worm Slayer, Knight's Crest, don't need that just yet. Yes. That will Alright. You're fine now. Okay, Lena, you go back over here. Almost there. Marth got a lot of EXP from, and, and a few levels from killing all of those thieves. It helped him a lot. Bars for the crit. Level 14, we got strength, speed, weapon level, defense, res, and HP. That, what stat did we not get a boost in? <laughs> What stat did we not get out of that? Another crit from Barst. Very nice. He's been mad he hasn't been able to do anything lately. Caster dodged. And we got a crit. First, you do your thing. There we go. Alright. I don't see any more enemies. I'm gonna heal. Bars. Just in case there's more reinforcements, I'm going to move them up. Okay. Bars, you go right ahead and just stand here, I guess. No, we're straight. Secret. We found the she secret shop in Book 1, Chapter 14. That was an achievement. We can buy a rapier, a leaven sword, a shaver. I don't know what that does. Bolganon. Physic or barrier? I still have my barrier. I still have physics. I don't... I still basically have a full rapier. I still have two leaven swords. I'm just going to buy one of these. Because I don't know what else they do. And I have a spare bolden on, so that's fine. Alright. What does that do? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait an extra turn. I wanna know what that shaver one does. Because I might buy another one. Twenty crit. You know what? Let's just do. Uh, let's just do that. All right. It's basically an Excalibur, but weaker, but has more attack speed. Honestly, we could give that to Lind. But that I don't think I'll need to buy another one. Actually, you know what? Maybe I will buy another one, just in case. We'll buy one more. If 
but it's a weaker Excalibur. Alright, now we'll seize the castle. Congratulations, Marth! You just wasted your Orion's Bolt on a stupid achievement. Don't you feel proud of yourself? You didn't get it yet, because you messed up. Altia has finally been liberated. Please listen. The citizens are all praising your highness. Eternal glory up to Altia's Prince of Light, our star and savior. Complete chapter 14. Make the save, and I definitely have to call it. Uh, let's take a quick look at the at the new achievements, I guess. Refresh the page. So let's see. We got 13 and 14. We got those. We got Samson and Aaron achievement. We got the win three fights in an arena in the same chapter, and we got this uh, secret shop one. We could have gotten... could have gotten this one, but I messed up. Luckily, there's still a chance in book two, possibly, but there's also this one. We'll see. But other than that, I think I'm going to call it. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at Scottbot64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the about page. Uh, next time, we're doing... Chapter 15. Yeah, sounds like the plan. Anyway, have a good day. Later.